Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin. I'm Tarsha. And this is, of course, Conversations with the Crawleys, where we have conversations about faith, family, relationships, and recaps, reviews, commentary on some of our favorite TV shows. This one is all about season five of Ready to Love, DC edition. Oh, you're not going to do the woohoo? It, it has to it has to yeah. beat it okay it's got to to, okay come, come. i thought that was your thing now that we mentioned in dc mm, i don't listen but you re you from dc you were um, born in dc i was born in dc it's like everybody else in maryland and virginia nobody's okay. born actually in maryland yeah born in maryland <laughs> that's the weirdest thing all the all the doctors they provide i don't know they work in the hospitals in dc okay so listen if this is content you enjoy you know what to do hit that subscribe button hit the like button request notifications and share and we will see you in the comments i'm just not here this morning. she is just like i'm out of it let's just keep rolling all right so listen <laughs> also if you're looking for ways to support the channel we've got a few mm -hmm. ideas in the bottom there in the description as far as our store uh cash app and all those fun things um but definitely appreciate you meeting us in the comments having the the uh, the feedback coming on the community tab, all of those things. In fact, you all know we do shout outs to our subscribers and commenters. And so this week is uh, Shirley Keen, who wrote Camille needs to grow that hell up. She is 42 acting like a child. Ooh. <laughs> so shout out to you, first of all, Shirley. And then we are definitely going to talk about Camille and all of these other characters that we are finding this season mm. on Ready to Love. Mm. All right. So let's kind of, you know, the guys, it starts off, of course, in the guys' lounge. Correct. It's the guys' week. They're the ones who have the power. Some young lady is going home at the end of this week. Um, and so kind of, you know, they're there. And it looks like a, a convention for bald and bearded men. And I, I was thinking, is that a new DC trend going on? You know, I mean, you've been bald. I've been bald, right? And I, I have my beard. Right. Yeah. So I get it. I, it's in. Mm -hmm. And so that's the look. So yeah. I am, they following it. Yeah. <laughs> but it just seems like they found nothing but <laughs> bald and bearded guy. And they threw a few token in that had, you know, hair or what have Right. So, <laughs> Said a few tokens. A few token ones, right? <laughs> uh, so Aisha and Frank go out on a date. Right. And Aisha, if you remember, she was the one who last week we saw her go on the date with Carrington. Right. Uh, she's mother, divorced, mm -hmm. uh, has two kids. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds like she's got like a New York accent, Bronx, right. Brooklyn, what have right. you. Um, and Frank, Frank is the I beverage connoisseur or whatever, right? Yeah. And so um, he says that she was his first and initial uh, connection. And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know that. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> so he does say a lot of things. He pay he's paying attention. He's like, you got you know, he knows the age of her kids. Right. Da, da, da. He put it on smooth. He, I feel like he's being real smooth. He was being smooth. I think I think that was some game. I don't know. I I just it just he came was, off a little gameish to me. That's what I say when I say smooth. Okay. okay. That's what I mean. Um and I don't know if he was being flirty with it, mm -hmm. you know. I don't want to say he wasn't being genuine right? because he did take the time to find the information. Oh, yeah. Now, how you use the information once you get it, you know? So that's why I'm going to leave it at smooth for now. Right. You know, I was a little shocked when he said that was the very first connection he made because mm -hmm. I thought he was making some other connection with some other women. Right. Um, but I don't, I just don't know if it's more of a physical attraction than a mental yeah, because he's like, you know, she checks all the buttons for him, pretty right. much is what he was saying. Right. Um, and they had a scene in the photo booth. And... Mm -hmm. They're taking photos. They're getting close. You know, you know. we got tongues out. So. Right. So <laughs> they, they, he, you know, and he's like, he, he's here for all of that. So of course he is. Yeah. I don't know, brother, that wouldn't be, but okay. Well, yeah. So, but yeah, he's like, listen, let's, you know, and so they have a good vibe. It'll be interesting to see how they operate going forward. Correct. Right. If if mentally 
he's stimulating for her as well. Right. Because I think she had a lot of questions when she mm-hmm. had for Carlton, you know? So mm-hmm. I feel like she would present the same thing mm-hmm. to him at some point. Yeah. You know, this one just seemed more of a, you know, flirty date. Just a vibe, right? It was a vibe. Just having fun. Yeah. Um, and then Tyrone meets with Carrie. And if you remember, Carrie, we find out at the ladies table last week or last episode that uh, Carrie was vibing with Tyrone Correct. thought that things were going well. Correct. And then she gets the call that's like, "Yeah, I, I'm not interested. You're eliminated from my from my my um, my I can team. Can only right? handle three. <laughs> my, this jet can only handle three right. people, right? right? Um, and so mm-hmm. they have the conversation, and she's like, "What happened? Yeah. So she asked him to come out, and mm-hmm. Tyrone was like, "Look, all right. She want me to break it down for her. Does she want me to let, tell her? Let it be broke." I could give her receipts. I could mm-hmm. tell her texts where it just like, uh, you kind of just turned me the wrong way mm-hmm. by this text. Mm-hmm. And you asked me these questions by mm-hmm. text. And in the morning, I, done, I didn't know, right. you know, so now. <laughs> yeah, because he, he was like, you know, I was it went downhill because you were kind of aggressive is what he called. It, yeah. Right? He was like, well, time out. Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that wow. word, you know, because no one likes to be called aggressive. Right, no, especially a black woman. I right. think we've been labeled aggressive for oh, yeah. a very long Absolutely. time. And you know, from what we were able to see, mm-hmm. we hadn't seen anything that gave us pause to say that she was aggressive. But we know things happen off camera with texts right. and what now, have you. And then what he did mention about it, I didn't find it aggressive, but I could see how he could be a little put off if someone asking you, "Are you still connected with me?" Well, and, even before that, though, remember he's. Um, he talks, he get, brings up as an example that when they were at the mixer, he's getting someone else's number and he's like, out the corner of my eye, I see you and you, you are looking at me kind of, you know, strange and off putting, like you had an issue with it. Mm-hmm. And when we saw the clip, it was just like, there was other people there. So it wasn't like she was looking at him, like, for example, like the way Camille looks at Cornelius right. whenever he's interacting with someone. Right. Right. So. I don't know how much of it is Him. Tyrone's awkwardness mm-hmm. and her being aggressive. I think that they they just are viewing it through two different viewpoints, mm-hmm. if you will, right? Yeah. Um, and so yeah, she does text him and say, you know, um, how was your date? Are you in, are you still interested with me? In me, what have you? And so that's what he takes as you're being aggressive. You're trying to pin me down, mm-hmm. what have you? Mm-hmm. And I can see that. Yeah, I wouldn't. First of all, in this process, I don't know if I would ask you about your date, right? Because when I talk to you, it's gonna be about, it's about me. Us. Yep. It's gonna be now. If she want to mention, like you know. Because he mentioned it like, oh, I went on another day. Well, great. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. You know, this is kind of how my day went. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. when are we going to get back together? Right. I'm going to always circle it back around to us. Right. So. And I think that's a common mistake that a lot of these folks make on this type of a show is that they are always trying to lock people down mm-hmm. and, is, and and trying to figure out what's going on over there. Mm-hmm. And if you know that you're dating someone and they're dating other people, especially in the confines of this type of a show, Take every opportunity to refocus back on you right. and let them continue to think right. about every time that you're with them, right. let them just be thinking about you and them as right. opposed to you engaging them about what happened with other folks. Right. So, um, and then Cornelius, Corey, Camille, and Courtney. So all the CKs, whatever, right? <laughs> the, all the K, uh, the, the hard C sounds, right? Mm-hmm. They go out on a skating date, right? Mm, roller skating. Roller skating. And uh, is that still a thing? In... I think roller skating is coming back because okay. on TikTok, everybody roller skating on the reels. <laughs> Every time I turn around, somebody, I mean, we got groups of skaters. Yeah, we got that pastor who is roller skating. Him and his wife. Yeah. They're a cool couple. Hey. I'm like, hey. So, but no, I mean, I'm seeing more people showing themselves at the roller ring mm-hmm. or there's like groups of people with music doing a little set. Mm-hmm. Roller skate has been around for a very, very long yep. time since I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so Camille basically asks Cornelius if he's jealous, right? Because when they come in, mm-hmm. she's with Corey, right? Mm-hmm. And, he, you know, it's. It, I think he's cordial to her. And I think that she is still, in my opinion, too pressured for him. Mm-hmm. Um 
we find out that Camille and Cornel- Cornelius do have some some good FaceTime conversations. Mm-hmm. I guess he does it with his shirt off. I don't know how the Holy Spirit's going to help him if he's still trying to be celibate. <laughs> thirst trapping. He thirst trapping. He got it. I'm like... <laughs> so... I mean, I, I don't know. I'm like, is you like about to go to bed mm-hmm. and you don't wear a t-shirt or... Right. I don't know. I, but it was just love. Okay. <laughs> and so they single. they're mingling they kind of pair off mm-hmm. courtney and Corey pair off mm-hmm. right um and she you know camilla is still talking about she's ready to love mm-hmm. cornelius but cornelius does use a word there in one of his interviews he mm-hmm. uses the word she's a little too possessive or she could be she could be possessive possessive yeah. right he's he's trying to keep her on he's like i'm trying to keep her on this side of the fence right because he is saying, I am going to continue to sell right. mingle right. and keep his options open. Right. And he was kind of turning his head every time Corey and... He was like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, because remember, they, Cornelius, Camille, and Courtney have all mm-hmm. been on double dates mm-hmm. where they've been the three three of the four people right the four people. so it's all it's like cornelius is automatically in a position where he gets to see both at least both of the interests that correct. we see at this correct. time correct um and so he, in some respects it's like he can sit back and kind of watch the interaction of how they respond right to him right and courtney <laughs> is not she's it's not like she's she plays it smart she's over engaged with Corey and not really paying too much attention to Correct. Cornelius, right? Correct. She's been get, enjoying her date. She did. She, I think, if anyone, and I know this is not the only woman, but since we're talking about Courtney at this moment, mm-hmm. this is self confidence. Yeah, absolutely. This is, I'm out on a date. I'm going to enjoy the person I'm with. Yep. I'm trying to interact. I'm trying to find out about Corey. Who is Corey? You know, because Corey's still a mystery trying to figure out. Is he creepy or not creepy? You know? Because she says he's over the top. Yes. And so, and she's like, I'm not really into Mm -hmm. men that are over the top. I just want someone that's going to be chill. Mm -hmm. You know, because she probably feels like she's a lot of energy herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so she wants someone that's going to be a little more even tone. But she's like, okay, I can be open to this Mm -hmm. if he's able to stay at a certain level and stop rising. Right. You know? So I think when you're in this type of situation or just dating in general, Mm -hmm. you should just be confident and enjoy your moment. And so, and so, uh, she even once I think she mentioned again that he's kind of corny. He does still uh, listen (laughs) though. He has, in my opinion, he has no game, right? Because he's, he's borrowing from this and from that. So he borrows even the, the bad boys for lifeline, just co-ops it for lovers for life, what have you. So there are things that, you know, as far as what she comments and what mm-hmm. the, the other ladies have said, mm-hmm. as far as him not having a game. Now, he does surprise her with flowers, mm-hmm. which does kind of like, okay, she stop sees at the, the moment, stop at the moment mm-hmm. right, what have you. Um, he's still a little handsy, in yeah. my opinion, for where things are at this stage. I think so. And I, I feel like he needs to really feel like asking permission um because it's like you ask afterwards oh am i in your space when you feel like someone's starting to feel uncomfortable and they can't look you directly in the face because you're like in their space right people shouldn't have to tell you um you should know that you're intruding right you know and then i think sometimes for and that has to be earned right right well and sometimes that gets women and in a predicament, let me put mm-hmm. it this way, when you just say, no, you're fine, but you can tell that you're making me uncomfortable. Right. And I keep saying, no, it's fine, but it's not fine. Cause I mm-hmm. can tell by her body language and her head had to be to the side. And then finally it kind of backs off where they can really talk. Cause right. I'd be rather like, no, you're too close. Yeah. I can't see you. I, hopefully I'm thankful his breath didn't stink, but I'm like, I need you to back up mm-hmm. so that we can talk because you're in my space right. and we ain't boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. So. Right. That's and again, that, that's just our opinion, right? Right. Um, Walter and Mumin go on a date. Mm-hmm. They are 
Um, definitely an age difference there, right? I was really surprised how he was seen saying that he was really digging her. Mm-hmm. And but he indicated they had a really good in depth conversation. Yeah. And this ain't Sabrina. Right. Cause see <laughs> the 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 sticking point, because we find out a little later as far as Sabrina. Sabrina is not wanting to have kids. Right. Sabrina's reached her a portion of her life, right? She, she's got a child or maybe children. I think she has one. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's not looking towards that. So for some of these men that may not have kids, they're looking for, okay, they how want I want to have something of my own seed, right? Yeah. Um, and so therefore, even the age difference with Mumin makes some sense mm-hmm. um, because I know uh, Walter is what, mid, late 40s? Yeah, but he said he wants to have kids. So he wants to have kids, right? That's him. So more power to him. But they bo- they uh, they do kind of uh, connect over the fact of how they were with their fathers. Right. Um, his father just didn't want to be in his life pretty much left when he was two. Yeah. And didn't have any, really any contact with him after mm-hmm. that. And he, tr- Walter at least did make the effort to try and reconcile, yes. try and deal, yeah. build, build that up, but didn't happen, right? Correct. Um, and then she talks about how, you know, even her relationship with her dad. Mm-hmm. So interesting couple to watch there. We'll see where that one goes. Yeah, we'll see if we have- Okay. Then Dante, Shiloh, Phil, and Carrie go out on a workout date. So they're there. Uh, Dante is kind of leading it. Phil is kind of there with mm-hmm. the hole in his uh, his joggers, pants, or whatever. Oh, I didn't even see the hole. He yeah, had a hole he, he had a hole like in his knee. It was just like, bro. Hey, he been working out hard. Hey, all right, so but I- they're there. Shiloh and Phil kind of go off, right. um, and kind of engage. They have a good vibe. Oh, they yeah. Have a good connection. Yeah, they had a good connection. I think she made it seem a little bit more easy for him to mm-hmm. work with, mm-hmm. you know. And, you know, they're talking about just more so, I think it was just more flirty. Oh, yeah. Just kind of getting to know each other. And remember, Shiloh's, if I remember, she's like the she's intimacy, the co- yes, intimacy coach, intimacy right? Intimacy coach. So she, she at least is in tune with what she wants, in, right. in my opinion, right. um, kind of how to engage and Correct. show some flirtiness without right. going over to, over the top. Right. Um, Dante and Carrie, though. I I don't know. They like co-workers. Like... <laughs> <laughs> they, like they were like co-workers standing in front of HR because <laughs> they were just like, Dante was like, he, he, there was nothing from him. It was not from him. And I don't know I, because they seemed like they were flirting when he was doing the class. Right? right. And I don't know what happened afterwards because like, you know, he sits down in front of her and she's like, oh, okay, let me position myself, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't know if she should have just allow him to lead and just right. kind of wait for the questions and maybe just kind of like, you know, hold his hand or right. talk a, or gave him compliments. I don't know. I know what I would have done, but I don't know what she was missing at that point. Yeah. Cause it was just awkward. So this is where it's like, we kind of talked about this is that it seems as if on one side you could look and say, yeah, she was being aggressive. On the other hand, she was asking because she questions. was asking the question. She was kind of leading, what have you? On the other hand, I think, and the way I perceive it is that mm-hmm. she was trying to pull something out of him. She was trying to connect with him. She was trying to engage with him, and he was just like he had a big wall up where he was like he, if he wasn't feeling her, or if she had done something to turn him off, or he just he's just not in. I don't know. It yeah, because she's like. I don't even know what else to say. Right. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, ooh, yeah. that's something you don't say, is I don't know what else to say. Yeah. So start making more compliments. Right. <laughs> Figure something out. Like right? they, oh, your eyes. Oh, I missed that at the beginning. <laughs> but then, the, the, so it'll be interesting to see Dante on other dates, right? Because that was yeah. the first time we've seen him on a date. That's the first time we've seen him on a date. So is that is that possibly his personality? I don't know. So, because I can't say she really did something like really wrong. She didn't do anything egregious where it's like, yeah, no, you need to go. no. And so that's why I kind of, yeah, that why she wasn't really made. So you go from Tyrone. Mm-hmm. Now you're on another day when you're feeling like, man, I need to really make some connections. Right. And I feel like maybe she felt like maybe she needed to try more right. based off of the conversation with Tyrone. And then this doesn't work out. Right. So. Possible. All right. So then uh, Naeem and Zadia go on a date. They go on a mm. cocktail crafting date. <laughs> uh, 
No, that wasn't that wasn't him. That was that was uh Frank. Oh. Frank was doing his Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Okay. Yes, that's right. Because he had a mixologist with him creating right. the chocolate right. city. Yes. So Na- Naeem and Zadia, they, yes. they went on their own little cof- cocktail crafting date. Yes. Um, asking good questions. What would your friends mm-hmm. say about you? What have you? Yeah. So yeah. good vibe there. They were rubbing each other, you mm-hmm. know. Zadia is, Zadia, in my opinion, has the potential to be kind of the undercover, like, uh, I don't want to say hero, but one of the ladies that is like, she is connecting with a lot of different guys. Oh, you think her name's going to be mentioned a I, lot? I think her name, like Cairo was last season, like Cairo mm-hmm. all of a sudden. Remember, there was yes. that moment where it's like five guys at the right. table, like Kyra, 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 Kyra. I'm like, what? I think Zadia has that potential just because we've seen her yeah. in a few different, in a couple of different scenarios and she seems to be working well through all of them. Because again, here's another confident woman. She indicates what she wants. Mm-hmm. She knows what she wants. Yep. She gets what she wants. So, and, but the way she's playing it is that I'm just going to be self-confident. I'm going right. to be myself. I'm telling you about myself. I'm going to enjoy the date. I'm going to enjoy my date. I'm going to let you enjoy the date. And then we're going to go. I'm, and if we have another date, we're going to enjoy that right, date. Right, right. I'm not concerned about who you're dating outside. Right. Because I know all these other ladies. Everybody's trying to find somebody. Right. What different, right? Exactly. Um, and then, yes, Frank and Tasia go on a date. And that's where Frank is doing his... He, he's in his... That's his lane. He's like, I can see Frank behind the bar you know, you, working But nice. you got to get the smile, too. Right. And he... Like, all his muscles, all his arm muscles came from him shaking and mixing <laughs> drinks. <laughs> so, Tasia does say that he was not necessarily in her... Right. Kind of in her bracket, in her right. view, Right. Right. Um, so he ain't medium ugly. He ain't medium ugly, I guess. <laughs> right. Uh, but as making the drinks, right, he's kind of getting a weird vibe from her. Right. So he's trying to talk to her, mm-hmm. you know, get beyond her career, yeah. her education. And that's all he. That's all he's getting. That's all she's talking about. She's not talking about family. She's not no. talking about friends. She's no. not talking about background. No. So, what she like to do for a hobby. Right. And he's like, that's what I'm trying to get to. I'm like, did you just ask her outright? Like, what's your hobby? And did she go work? I mean, like. You know, because she she has her own company. She, she works she with tells she us, Right. Yeah. She tells us that she got her master's at 22. Awesome. Great. Beautiful. But for, for a man, the fact that you bring that to the table is great. But I need to know who you are. Right. So if we're going to sit at the table together. Right. I, I know you qualified on some levels but are you qualified on other levels right right? because at the end of the day i think to be honest a man is not really concerned about your career that's something he may he's more puffed up to share with another man i think i think for men it's like how how are you going to stimulate me right you know mentally to keep me on my game right you know how are you going to present yourself to me where there's the sexy side of me, but at the same time, you make me think, you know? Right. So, and she didn't do either, I don't think, for him. She, Yeah, she, and so far, let's be honest, on the date so far, the only date that she has, um, in some respects, stimulated um, the guy is with Corey, who is stimulated by anything, right? Right. Or, and he said that some of the men was kind of put off the first night by after, how she responded how yeah. she responded yeah so he's like okay let me go a little deeper that's true so when she, when he when he made that statement mm-hmm. that would have been a good time saying you know what yeah i was upset i was upset i was because, a little taken back how can i get better right so you you asked for the advice like you know what i thought of, i thought everybody was really feeling me mm-hmm. and you know you know what are your thoughts were you feeling me or what, right. you, what, what do you feel like I, I can do better because I'm enjoying my date with you. Whatever. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But she still, it, like, it didn't click. Nope. That she had an attitude, like, and I don't know any man who'd be like, be put off, like, who was it? Like, yeah. you're going to come at him. Like, right. who right. was it? And you followed up the next day, not saying, hey, guys, if my approach was wrong mm-hmm. last night. No, or, you reinforced it. You, you reinforced it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm like, so all the guys meet up again with Tommy and go to the lounge, mm-hmm. uh, and they're having conversations, of course. And then 
we find out kind of who is feeling who at this point, mm-hmm. right? So Corey says how he's feeling Mumin and Courtney. Mm-hmm. Tyrone is feeling Shiloh and Sabrina. Mm-hmm. Cornelius is feeling Camille and Courtney. Mm-hmm. Walter talks about Mumin. Mm-hmm. Naeem talks about Zadia, right? Mm-hmm. And then we get into who folks aren't feeling. Mm-hmm. And of course, the names come up to Sia mm-hmm. and Carrie. And Carrie. Right. Uh, and even someone mentioned Sabrina. And that was like we talked about earlier, mm-hmm. Sabrina. Because, because she didn't want she's kids. not one kids, right? right? So for some of those guys that are at the table, that's a deal breaker. Right. Right. And it should be. Yeah. If you want to have kids, you can't afford it. Nobody. Right. But you. And if, you know, if you, if you're not content in being a bonus dad, mm-hmm. right, right. Then yes, find some place where you can have everything that you want and, and let the person that is maybe connecting with you, mm-hmm. let them go right. so that they can find who they're looking for. Correct. Um, and Frank makes a statement. I, I think it was Frank that makes a statement about to see that she smiles with her lips, but not with her eyes. In other mm. words, she does all the things mechanically right, mm. but you can tell that there's nothing behind it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, so then Cornelius is sent to meet with Tasia, mm-hmm. Carrie and Naeem meet. Mm-hmm. Again, I, I don't agree with this, this sending home of this week. Mm. Because again, I don't think that Carrie did anything egregious, or I don't think. I don't and think a, so. of course, it's also just about who you're connecting with, right? And but, she didn't have an opportunity to make a lot of connection. Yeah. Nor did to see a to see it, right? To see, but I but I think I if we're looking to see a, she seems so closed off ever since that first mixer. Mm-hmm. I would have thought they would have said, "Let's send her home," right. because I don't think we're gonna get past whatever is going on right. with her. Because remember when when she went on the um, the date with uh, the group date group with day. with uh, who was it Naim mm-hmm. Shiloh mm-hmm. Uh, Zadia and was it Dante or was it Walter I can't remember uh, it was guy. Dante because okay. it wasn't Walter I know okay. it wasn't Walter so when she when he was on that when she was on that date she seemed like the mm-hmm. the third wheel the proverbial mm-hmm. third wheel she just seemed kind of there mm-hmm. um, so of what we've seen I think. To see a has connected less than Carrie. Mm-hmm. Carrie at least has, has had some connection. It didn't work out, and now maybe she's finding other connections. Mm-hmm. But to see it just hasn't had connections as far as what we've seen, right? So she might got another week, but that's it. Yeah. Unless there's some sparks that just come out of nowhere. And next week, we got Tommy's throwing his curveball. Yes, we have two. We have two new people coming. New people, a man and a woman. Yep, and we don't know who they are. No. Um, they did mention their name. They did mention their name, so they're not. They're not, as far as we can tell, somebody from previous seasons. Correct. Um, as I was thinking originally. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is two new people that are going to mm-hmm. join the group, and we'll see kind of how that works. Because I imagine with those new two new people, neither one of them can be sent home. Of course, that first week Correct. that they're there, right. but then that could switch up because folks that you thought you were moving forward with <laughs> might be like no i'm gonna check that out over there well or they become down they start moving down the list a little mm-hmm. bit further you know you just never know yeah you start throwing some other names out there hey so hey all right so it, carrie just to make it clear carrie was sent home mm-hmm. uh to see it is still around mm-hmm. although i do believe that her time is short mm-hmm. um next week being a guy's week mm-hmm. um there's some things in the trailer that Corey it seems to be doing Corey things. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but we'll see, I don't know who will possibly be going home. I don't know. If, yeah. Uh, Tyrone, mm-hmm. Tyrone, who was one of my initial thoughts for mm-hmm. not staying around long is at least making a couple of good connections. You're making a couple of really strong connections. Sabrina was really feeling them. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be only ones I haven't seen a lot of is Phil and Dante mm-hmm. until this past episode. Right. So I don't know how many connections they've made with other women. True. So they might see themselves on the chopping block. Yeah. So we'll see. As always, we'll see you next time. Watch. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. Be blessed. Be blessed. And we'll see you in the comments.